I'm Dan Marshall. I'm a watercolor painter. Today I'd like to look at sketchbooks and help you find the right sketchbook for you, for your needs, for the things that you like to do, whether it's just pencil sketching or sketching in watercolor in a notebook. Um, I tend to do a lot of sketching in watercolors and I've tried a lot of different um, notebooks. So I just want to kind of talk about some of the, the differences of those. Um, one of the main things um, that's great about just sketching in a, in a, in a, in a sketchbook is, is you can go anywhere. You can sit in a cafe, you can sit on a busy street corner, you can sit at a bus stop, pretty much anywhere. And, um, you can, and that's the beauty of watercolors. You can just use it anywhere. Um, so the first one I'm going to look at is the moleskin. We're going to get right in here, folks. Uh, is the moleskin uh, watercolor sketchbook. And this guy is... Um, it's pretty thin, it's light. This is about eight and a half by 11 or so, uh, but it's really easy to carry in my bag. It's very light. Uh, and the paper is great. Uh, I don't like this as much for pencil sketching only because it does, it, there's a tooth to the paper and it can get a little smeary. Um, but the, there's plenty of, uh, the weight of this is great for uh, doing watercolor studies. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive. Um, but they, they handle the watercolor great. There's really, um, I can almost get away with what I do on regular watercolor paper. Um, but you know, I'm doing things that are just a quarter of the size and uh, they can go pretty quick. So here's some street scenes and stuff in this one. Uh, but that's, that's the moleskin one. So that, that's a great uh, kind of all purpose sketchbook, but a little bit less fun for the, the way that I like to draw. It's just a little too smeary. Um, my next favorite one is probably this uh, Dale Rowney, and I think it's called the Ivory. Um, the, I like to customize them. I've always got some sort of little thing happening on here. Um, this was just a cool badge I put on there. Uh, anyway, uh, this paper has a slightly ivory tinge to it, and it this is a little bit smoother, so uh, I can do pencil drawing uh, a little nicer. I really like sketching in this, uh, but it's also plenty um it's also plenty strong enough to uh handle watercolor i think this is about a 90 pound paper so it, it's really fine for doing nice small uh watercolor studies also okay um but that was dale Rowney, and it's the ivory and i actually get this shipped in from england now um the one the dale Rowney sketchbooks they sell in the states are a much cheaper kind of version of that um so this one i, I order in from Jackson's and it's a wonderful wonderful sketchbook kind of similar to that is the Stillman and Byrne gamma series this has a definite creaminess to the paper um, it has a little bit more texture to it than the Dale Rowney um, but I still like to draw on it and again it's a 90 pounds so it handles watercolor just fine at this scale um, and it actually, I don't have any problems with lifting up or layering on top. It, it's, a, it's a really uh, nice, good quality sketchbook. And this is also, uh, this one is a little bit more UK sized. I think it's like an a, A5. I, I can't remember the size of it, but it's just a slightly different size than, uh, than the American sized sketchbooks. Um, and then also you can get this, the, this, uh, Stillman and Burn Gamma you can get in uh, different sizes and with different covers. So this is a, this, a smaller size and this one is really full but this is great. It's got sketches from travels all over the world. New York. Uh, there's probably some Japan in here. Um, California. But anyway, this is a great, it's the exact same paper as the Stillman and Burn Gamma series. Uh, and it's, it's a nice, lighter, easier, portable size. Uh, what's really cool is they've also started doing these soft covers, and this one is in a regular portrait um, format, and they also have a landscape format. So, um, you know, it, it 
doesn't, they're both the same size. It's just, I tend to like this landscape format better. Um, but this paper is great. It, it's really versatile. Um, a lot of nice little sketches in there and some, and some watercolors also. Okay. Uh, another cool thing I've done with the Stillman and Burn is I actually took a, uh, I bought one and kind of cannibalized it, cut out the paper. And I've got this really cool um, binder from, uh, it's actually from the Bowery Hotel, but I thought it was really cool, so I uh, might have accidentally left with it. Um, it was their menu. Uh, so I took some of that Stillman and Burn paper and just uh, triple hole punched it and put it in here to use. Um, it's just, it's an interesting format having this kind of vertical page. Um, and I haven't done one yet, but I could theoretically do a nice big kind of horizontal landscape in there. Um, but I can't resist the urge to customize things and just sort of make them my own. Um, but that's with the, uh, the, that gamma paper in there also. Uh, another thing that's kind of fun is uh, trying out colored paper. So this is uh, the cachet from Dale Rowney. And uh, this is, you know, it's, it's basically a craft paper. Um, this sketchbook, it's got Nihon. I took this on a trip with me to Japan. So it's got some sketches and studies from the airplane from the airport um, in Kyoto. Uh, but this, it's really neat because it, you're working on this sort of pre-toned paper so you can get some pretty cool effects uh, when you're sketching on it in watercolor. Um, that's another one that I kind of like to play with sometimes. Um, this guy, that was a still member. And the last one we'll look at is this, uh, this is pretty cool. This is the Venezia sketchbook from Fabriano. And uh, this has a really nice paper too. This is a, probably even a little heavier. Um, I'm not sure what the weight is, but it, it's, it definitely handles watercolors wonderfully. Um, so, uh, so this was in New York, cool little sketch in New York, uh, sketching at the airport. Uh, that looks like that might be Japan also. Um, but any, oh yeah, this, this was a, a place where I got some crepes in Japan. Uh, but anyway, this is, a, this is also a really cool, sketchbook and readily available. So the, the Stillman and Burn you get at most art shops. This Fabriano is pretty common. Um, I think this De La Rowney you can get pretty readily in the States. Um, the only one that, uh, oh, and the Moleskins are really easy to get. Um, they, they, I think they might even have them at some like Staples and uh, things. They've, they've got a pretty good Moleskin collection. Um, so the only one I really order in is this one from Jackson's. And this is, uh, this is the their ivory paper from Dale Rowney. Um, but they'll ship it to the States from uh, Jackson's Art Supply in England. Um, so anyway, um, that's a, just a little look at some sketchbooks and the ones I like to use. And um, hopefully you try these out and you like them for sketching. Um, but the, you know, if you want to paint in watercolor, nothing will get you there quicker and get your drawing habits up if you, if you take the time to spend some time sketching, do little watercolor studies in your sketchbook. Um, and uh, that's about it for sketchbooks. So thanks for hanging out in the studio and looking at some sketchbooks with me. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Happy painting.